Listen, I know y'all guys trying to impress our mothers for Mother's Day this year. And I'm telling you, I know how hard it is to impress your mama because it's hard to impress my mama. And I know she watching and I know she listening. It's hard to impress her. But when I bring these honey butter sweet mashed potatoes, it's game over. So guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Get in your kitchen, let's go. All right guys, let's do a quick rundown of what we have. So right here we have our sweet potatoes here. This is about four pounds of sweet potatoes. Here we have some butter, some heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use milk or you can use half and half, doesn't really matter. Here we have honey, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, vanilla extract, some brown sugar, salt, some thyme. And right here we have some pepper here, some black pepper. So. These are the ingredients, let's get to it. All right, to get started, we're gonna add our sweet potatoes here in this pot. Now guys, you can keep them whole if you want to, it's totally up to you. I cut mine into about, well, each sweet potato, I cut them to about four pieces. You just want enough water to cover the top of your sweet potatoes, that's all you need. All right, and we're gonna let this come to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until those sweet potatoes are soft, all right? Guys, you want to start adding your salt in here along with your thyme as it starts to boil. All right, guys, so we are about 15. 20 minutes in, we wanted to make sure that they were fork tender, maybe, maybe these babies here are fork tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and we're gonna come back over to our pot, all right? So guys, what I like to do after I drain them, I like to crank that heat back on just a little bit, kind of on the low, and kind of let these babies kind of just cook just a little bit more to kind of dry them out to make sure there's no water left in them it's not going to take long it takes like a couple of minutes but you want to kind of constantly move them around and this process just helps them get really really creamy because it removes all the moisture from it and don't worry about it if you tear a few up in this process that's fine because you're going to mash them up in a minute anyway all right guys i think we are good right here and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this off we're gonna head back over to our cutting board and we're gonna finish this baby off all right so now we're gonna take our sweet potatoes just add them here to our pot, I mean bowl, I'm sorry. We're removing them from the pot into our bowl. And we're gonna take about a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna add that here. And guys, you can use a potato masher or a masher to do this. I don't have one, maybe I need to invest in one, but you can also use a blender. So I'm gonna use my blender and I'm gonna start off blending this on low. And make sure you do this Blend it until it's smooth and no more lumps. All right, guys, it looks like we are good. I'm gonna do a quick taste test just to make sure it's smooth like I want it. Yep, mm. oh man, this ain't quite quality control yet, but we almost there. The last thing we're gonna do is start adding the remaining of our ingredients, like a, another half stick of butter. We're gonna throw in our brown sugar, that black pepper. And guys, one thing I forgot to mention that I like to add in mine is some minced garlic. So I'm gonna do like a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. You really don't need that much. Our vanilla extract, our nutmeg, our cinnamon, add that honey. And we're gonna go in with our heavy whipping cream. We're gonna start off with a little bit right here. And you just wanna use as much as as much as you desire to get it to the consistency you, consistency you want. And now we're just gonna get that baby mixed in like this. And this, this step, you wanna mix it with your hand. You don't wanna use your blender for this here. Guys, I'm using like a fourth of a cup of uh, heavy whipping cream. I don't think I need any more. It's gonna be too milky for me and I like it just at this consistency like this. It's more like an oatmeal consistency, I guess you could say or however thick or thin you like it. I like mine like this, I don't want it to be watery. I like for it to be able like this, if you want to get it on the spoon, like that. You see how that, you see how that's sticking? 
And if I do it that way, it's just not falling off like that. Yeah, it's gonna fall, but it's not watery. And that's, that's not what you want. This is how I like mine. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to our cutting board for our final presentation. There you have it, honey butter mashed sweet potatoes. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Guys, let's jump over to quality control so we can give it a taste test. All right guys, we're back in here, quality control. We have our honey butter sweet mashed potatoes here. I got some of this cinnamon sugar, which I love to put on my sweet potatoes when I bake them. Man, I throw some butter on there with some of this cinnamon sugar. And man, I'm in sweet potato heaven, guys. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on top of it like that, not too much. My doctor may get mad at me. Man, look at all that melted butter on there. Oh, my diabetes doctor gonna get mad. My cholesterol doctor gonna get mad at me on that one now. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh. Oh, man. God. One word. You know what it is groceries guys make sure you check this recipe out you can eat it as a side or if you just want to eat it by itself you can it's totally up to you man who am i to tell you what to eat stuff with people always say what can i eat this with man with whatever you want to eat it with that's up to you it's your choice i don't care i just want you to make it you dig me and until then i'm your cook spinelli all wings everything and remember guys Man, I'm just looking at this thing and say, I may have to take this whole thing out, but I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Remember, I'm not a chef. I just cook a lot, and now I'm out. Peace.